Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And good evening everyone. Amen. And you're all very welcome this evening from the various areas of the district that you have come from. You're very welcome here as we gather on this very special evening, this very special occasion as we gather as a family of God to pray for our dead and to remember them in a special way. We're here on holy ground. We're here in one of the most beautiful areas in the country, the Old Cross. An area that's steeped with tradition, with history, but above all, with faith. As we gather this evening as a Christian family, we thank God for that faith. We thank God for all the people who are buried here in this graveyard, who has passed on that faith to us. And we pray as we continue our Christian journey, as we continue to receive that light of hope from the risen Christ, that we will be given that continued strength to carry on and to pass on the Christian faith. And to prepare ourselves and to celebrate our Eucharist this evening, we ask God to forgive us for the times that we have failed to love him, the times that we have failed to love one another, the times that we have failed in our Christian duties. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I fail to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Creator and Redeemer, 
By your power, Christ conquered death and returned to you in glory. May all your people who have gone before us in faith share his victory and enjoy the vision of your glory forever through Christ our Lord. reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming, will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise. Then those of who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds, together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. If you should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. We now prepare to hear the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. And there are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare you a place. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return and take you with me. And where I am, you may be too. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas, he said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we say that we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except in and through me. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Just as we spend the next few moments thinking of all the people who are buried here, thinking especially of the people who were buried here in the recent past, we think of those beautiful words that we use so often in the funeral liturgy. May the God of hope give you the fullness of peace, and may the Lord of life be always with you. Jesus, throughout his life, is always there 
encouraging. Always there to encourage us. And our prayer and our faith are two very important ingredients that indeed are very closely linked and help us on the occasion of a death, help us in so many ways to cope and to understand. When we think of Jesus' words to us this evening, they are thoughts that he wants us not only to think about this evening, but indeed to carry with us every moment of our lives, especially in moments of sorrow and emptiness. Those gospel words, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. And that other very important statement that he made, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so this evening, as we gather to remember and to pray for our dead, it's an opportunity for us also to reaffirm, to reaffirm our faith in the Lord of life. And above all, it helps us to continue our prayers, not just as something that we do every so often, not something that is a waste of time, but something that gives us courage and hope, something that gives us a sense of the closeness of God and helps us above all in our moments of sorrow to understand that God is there for us and with us. And remembering our dead, especially this evening, we pray that above all, they are now enjoying the fullness of life with God in heaven. So now we have the prayers of the faithful. <clears throat> 